All right, here we go with another painting tutorial, and this we're going to look at an ultramarine squad. So you may notice this is the ultramarine squad that came with uh, Assault on Black Reach, and uh, I just painted these guys up with the new Citadel paints, and I'll show you the steps that I took to make that happen. So um, basic paints. So for the the ultramarine blue, you got the McCraig blue all the way up to Calgar blue. Um, for any of the gold bits, you got your regular gold sort of uh, going here, and uh, lead belcher to iron breaker for your uh, silver on the bolt gun. I use these reds for the um, the uh, security seals. Um, some of the grays on the bolt guns. Um, actually, this sorry, this is the shoulder pad, so this is like a really light gray. This is the black on the bolt gun here. Uh, any of the purity seals or the uh, cloth, and I guess any bone that happened. To, there's none on these guys these colors and the flesh for the sergeant's head. So I'll just show you that on the model itself. So let's walk through the sergeant here. Um, got the basic blues, uh, gold details. So I've got the chest there, the shoulder pads, this thing, some of the other details. It's different on most of the guys, but the, the, shoulder, the shoulder pads and the, the chest plate, are, they all have that. Silver, so obviously for the other guys it's the bolt gun, but this guy did some of the other stuff. There's also bits on the backpack and the little the vents on the back of that as well. And you'll see that at the end when I show you the full circle of the model. Purity seals. Um, actually what I did to make these easy is I used a Mephison red and I used um, Agrax Earthshade wash and I did the, the purity seals with the same wash. And, that, and I also used that wash for the gold so that just made things faster using less, less paints. Um, for the shoulder pads, so these guys actually have the uh, tactical squad marking um, on the shoulder pads, sort of a raised detail, and so it used the light grays for that. Uh, black, so on this chain sword, there's some black sides on it. The bolt guns, it's kind of the, the main part of the body. Purity seals and this Talbert thing here. Um, so this fabric, just uh, yeah, highlighting that up to the, the screaming skull color. And in flesh. Only the sergeant has a bare head, and just using my basic flesh tones. I actually didn't use the, the wash. I didn't want it to be too deep of a color there. Okay, so when I started off, I used Army Painter Spray. So I painted every, I spray painted it all black, and I did an Army Painter spray um, kind of on the upper side, hoping to get a bit of uh, object source, or sorry, upper lighting kind of look to it, but it didn't really turn out that way. So I, um, nice, nice base coat, right color, um, and it's just the, the ultramarine blue from Army Painter. And so that helps speed things up. As you can see, I didn't do the bases at the same time. I thought that might be a, a good idea not to put them on there, just because then I have to paint over the blue. But it didn't really matter, I guess. Okay, so now I'm going to be starting to build up the, the blues to the lighter colors and uh, shading things. So you can see a bit of the shades there. So using the... Um, Drakenhof, Nightshade, whatever, trying to paint it in the edges. I actually go over that later on in the steps, just uh, getting the helmet lines, some of the, the obvious ones that should be darker, just to make sure that uh, the blues aren't too, uh, too washed out. Uh, once I was happy with the blues, um, I, I did the base coats for the, the silver there. You see that in the various guys. And then base coat black. Um, and I gave it a wash. So that's just the Newland Oil wash on there and just make sure that I get all the hoses and, and anything like that. Uh, then I finished off the rest of the base coat. So I've got the base coat here um, on the, the Purity Seals and the Talbert base coat for the gold and um, Rhinox Hide for the uh, leather sort of pouches. Sometimes I leave those, just ignore them, but uh, I wanted to give them a bit of detail. And then for his face, painted that as well. So uh, there's that the gray for the uh, the shoulder pad, and uh, I also did the eyes at this step as well. Okay, so now using Armageddon dust uh, for the base here. That's the, the textured paint from uh, GW, and using Steel Legion drab or whatever it is for the the, the rim of the bases here. Um, some people like to use black. Some people. Back in the day, used Goblin Green. I really like the the brown look. It's it's the same as what GW uses, and um, I thought I'd go with a lighter color on the base just to give these guys a different look than the rest of the things I'm I've been painting, and I thought it would look decent with the armor. So uh, 
getting done there. I got all the bases ready. The reason I do the bases sort of in the middle is because it gives them a chance to dry. And uh, when I dry brush them, I'll use that to sort of weather the feet a little bit to make it look like some of the dust came up. Okay, so uh, you can see there I've gone over some of the shading and a little bit of highlighting on the on the armor. Okay, so now I'm uh, highlighting up the silver. You can see all the edge highlights there uh, around sort of all the stuff that we wear nice and shiny and uh, doing the same with the gold. So you can see the gold highlights there. Just brings it out a little bit and the silver, again, just painting uh, fine lines on all the edges using just the sort of the side of the brush. And I think that's the gold. There's the Talbert all highlighted up. Doing a lighter color gray on the shoulder there. And then the final details involve just doing some of the blacks and uh, making sure the golds were fine. Doing the face with just the, the different flesh tones there. And uh, I think that was about it. So um, I dry brushed the, the base's uh, underhive ash. So it's a bit of a greenish light brown, light brown with that slight green tinge to it. And I tried to get a little bit on the feet as well. You may or may not notice that um, in the pictures. Okay, and just sort of a bit of an overhead shot. So uh, pretty basic, guys. These are your vanilla marines all the way through and through. And I put the, the decals on um, using uh, micro the uh, microset solutions there. Um, I, I understand Vallejo has some decal solutions as well. Basically, it uh, just helps them form to the, the shape a bit better. So I'll show you the finished models. Uh, I'll show you more detail on the sergeant and the missile launcher, and the rest of them I'll just do quickly. So you can see the uh, little bit of highlighting on the little leather pouch there. And it didn't bother doing the purity seals beyond just a wash, because I thought that they looked decent the way they were. And there you can see the backpack, so just a little bit of silver here and there just to give a bit more detail. Didn't really do anything to the hose vents there beyond um, just the silver and then the wash. And uh, yeah, I think these guys turned out pretty good. Um, figuring I have to paint a lot of these. For this ultramarine uh, decal here, I, I cut a little chunk out of it and put it on and then I touched up the paint around the edge there just uh, with a really fine brush. I think it turned out okay. Here's my missile launcher guy. Some neat details in the back there. Uh, I like how that turned out. And uh, yeah, fun squad to paint. It's funny I've had these Assault on Black Roots guys forever and uh, only now I just painted them up after they've been discontinued. So uh, here's the whole squad and uh, just from the different angles. So you can see because these are raised I was able to give them a bit of highlighting there. I think that uh, adds a little bit to them. And uh, the same amount of detail I gave to all the guys so it wasn't just that the sergeant had more. Um, they all got the same amount of attention and they've all got the decals on the shoulder pads. So uh, yeah these guys will look decent on the tabletop and I hope you enjoyed this. Check out my blog. Uh, here it is here and there's a link in the description below. There'll be more pictures um, of the paints that I use as well as uh, still images if you ever want to reference those. Hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.